Hello friends, so today we can discuss the third problem from the latest code forces round 706 problem name diamond miner. So I'll tell you the problem statement in simple terms first. So in simple terms it states that there are n gold miners and n gold mines. Okay, now the gold miners are on the y axis and the gold mines are on the x axis. And as you can see nothing is on the origin. So the even the miners and the gold uh, like the mines everything has an coordinate except the origin so there can be some mine here there can be some mine here there can be some miner here 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 and so on i hope you get the point now so what the problem statement states that every miner has to mine some mine okay so you have to assign every miner to a mine and uh, what is the energy it requires for a miner to mine a mine is the distance between that mine and that miner so if you just draw a straight line between them so that's it that's the like the energy it will take so what you'll actually have to do here is you just have to assign a miner with a mine and just add all the distances like so that it is x1 x2 x3 you just have to assign the distances such that you just have to minimize the total energy spent because this is the energy spent the distance between the miner and the mine is the energy spent so you just and you just have to accumulate all the distances such that you have to assign each mine to a miner such that the accumulative sum of the distances or the energy is minimized i hope you understand the problem statement now so uh, you just have to assign a x coordinate to a y coordinate and that's it you just have to minimize the total sum so uh, the first thing uh, you just have to observe here is okay so as you can see if this is some point you just you just have to find out the diagonal of this triangle okay so as you can see even if the this like if the x coordinate is this and y coordinate is this or if you just flip it out in this manner also it is same okay so whatever you you are doing in the any other coordinate just flip them to the first coordinate only because we are just finding out the uh, like the diagonals only so what i mean by this is if this is some distance some like this is some y distance just flip it to the x such that this and just flip it to this point so that if this is the distance you can make this distance like this only the distance will remain the same because we are just flipping out both the x and y coordinate we are just so whenever taking some input just make everything positive such so that because we are only talking about the diagonals now we don't have to talk about in which diagonal or which quadrant they fit so we just have to talk about the distance of that so that's why we just making everything in the first coordinate because we want to minimize the distances now uh, so as you can think uh, when i first saw this problem the the first thing i saw saw uh, like or the observe here is there can be two cases whether i can make this so i can assign the spot like the, like the nearest one to the nearest and and so on or i can what i can do here is i can assign the nearest to the like to this point and the this one to the closest one now as you can see in this there is some intersection like there is some intersection which is line now this intersection is creating the problem because like this is increasing the distance if you are if they are not intersecting this sum and this sum okay like, like this sum is greater than this sum like this sum is preferable because there is no intersection but this is not preferable now you might be thinking that okay how you can prove that out so there is some proof in the editorial also if you go watch that but i'll tell you in simple terms what i what i observe here is so as you can see uh, if you find out that this distance this is a and this is b so uh, so as you can see uh, like if this is this is ab this is cd so as you can see ab are the diagonals so ab plus cd is the total sum okay so as you can see this total sum is less than is less than so if you just take out one triangle this the like the, the summation of the two sides is greater than the, the, the third side because as you can see the summation of this side and this side is greater than the diagonal obviously so the summation of as you can see this is o so oa plus ob 
is greater than AB and also you can add this out which is like OD plus OC so these are greater than this term okay and now what you have to find out you just have to do this term if you do this which is like if you're taking C and B and A and D so like this is like AD so AD is just equivalent to OB and OD so if you just take OB and OD it's just equivalent to this only like like this term so like you can replace this with uh, like AD so it is AD and as you can see then you can also replace this with CB so as you can see now this term obviously is greater than or like greater than this AB term so it means that AB is smaller than CD I hope you get the point so it, it means that you just don't want some intersection you don't want any intersection so it means that if you have some points like this in the x-axis and there are some points like in this y direction you just match the first with the first point second with the second point third with the third point so that you, you just don't want any intersection and that's it that's the whole problem like the solution of this problem so what you'll do it is just sort the whole x-axis out and the y-axis out and try to just match them out and find out the summation of all the distances out so i'll show the code part now in this also i got the first wrong answer because of the not using long long so you just have to use long long so just find out the x coordinate and the y coordinate make two arrays and uh, use long long and then sort them out and just iterate over the n positions then how you find out the distance so because if this is 0 comma a this is 0 like this is b comma 0 so it's under root of a square plus b square so that's what i'm doing just a square plus b square and just doing a under root of that just converting it to double and just adding it to the answer and that's it i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem also if you still have any doubts you can mention the coin box ask the next one till then keep coding and bye